you can now use the program verifier JSTAR from Eclipse. Here is how to verify a simple binary tree of integers. We begin by explaining what a binary tree node is. X is a reference to a binary tree node when it points to a piece of the heap made out of three cells, one of them named value whose content is underscore v and two other cells that contain references to children. They are named the cells are named left and right and the references are underscore L and underscore R. This definition corresponds directly to how we define the data structure in Java. The purpose of a program verifier is to check that annotations in code agree. Here, for example, we can check that when the reconstructor terminates, there is memory allocated with the structure mentioned. Of course, we also want to be able to talk about possibly empty trees. So we introduce a new predicate and we represent empty trees by the null reference and every non-null reference must obey the predicate we defined earlier. Once we can say that a reference must point to a heap that represents a tree, we can use it to recursively say that the children must be tree, trees. Now the constructor is not correct anymore. We need to strengthen the precondition to require that the children we are given are trees. And if we do so by using a star, then we also require that the ch two children are disjoint. So for example, if we try to introduce sharing artificially, we are pointed, pointed to the error of our ways. That's not a tree, it's a DAG. Okay, so let's fix it. But uh, the, the more interesting part is that we can attach abstract values to references. As a simple example, let's attach an integer, the sum to each tree. For null references, for empty trees, we say that the sum is zero. And for non-empty trees, we delegate the computation to the non-empty tree predicate. And this one computes the sum by looking at the left sum, looking at the right sum, and adding those with the value underscore v of the current node. Once we do this, we need to update the specification of the existing methods to say how they affect the abstract values we introduce. But more interestingly, we can use these abstract values to encode in specifications rather high-level requirements. For example, we can say that we'd like a method which, given a tree with a sum s, returns s. Attempting implementation for such a method would be to add the value of the current node with the sums of the two children. If we do this, JSTAR tells us that we have a possible null the reference. So we need to refactor the code a little bit. In the middle of the refactoring, now, JSTAR tells us that the arithmetic is not quite right. And it does so by using an SMT prover. Once everything is fixed, JSTAR is happy to. So, in summary, in this video we saw how JSTAR now gives us feedback using squiggles for various kinds of errors, such as arithmetic problems, aliasing problems, and null the references.